Kelsey crew and welcome back to another video. Today, I am showing you how to create the perfect charcuterie board. Not only that, I'm also sharing with you two different homemade plant-based soft cheeses to put on your charcuterie board. Now, charcuterie boards, cheese boards, snacking platters have been all the rage in the last few years because of Instagram and TikTok. They're just so beautiful and aesthetically pleasing to look at. And after today, you will know exactly how to make one yourself. They're actually a lot easier than you might think. And honestly, I think they're just so much fun to put together. But before we get into the video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. It really does help me out. It helps more people see this video and the YouTube algorithm. And don't forget to subscribe down below by hitting the little red subscribe button and also click the bell icon right next to it so you're notified every time I post a new video. All right, let's get into it. We're gonna start by making a herbed ricotta type of soft cheese. So for this, you're going to use tofu as the base. You're gonna use three quarters of a extra firm block of tofu. Add it to your food processor along with nine cloves of roasted garlic, half a cup of caramelized onions, one tablespoon of parsley, one tablespoon of basil, the zest of one lemon, two tablespoons of lemon juice, two tablespoons of nutritional yeast, a lot of freshly cracked pepper, a couple pinches, generous pinches of salt, and then you're going to blend that together until smooth. And then after it's blended, we're going to roll it up in a little tube, so it's gonna kinda of look like goat cheese. So to do that, you're going to take plastic wrap, a sheet of plastic wrap, or you could also use parchment paper here, and lay it down on a flat, clean surface. And you're going to carefully spoon on your herbed ricotta mixture that we just made, and you're going to lay it down in a line. And like I said before, it's gonna be in a tube shape, so you can kind of like preemptively spread it out on the plastic wrap in that shape in a line and then you can roll it together like a big fat joint <laughs> that's basically what it looks like so you're just going to roll it together like this you want it to be pretty tight make sure there's not like a lot of air bubbles in there and then you're going to cinch off the edges like so and it should look like a little sausage and then after it's rolled together you can put it in the fridge for about 30 to 40 minutes or you could also leave it in there overnight if you want and once it is nice and cooled down and a little more firm you can dredge it in some freshly chopped chives so that's gonna be the outward coating of this cheese is some fresh chives you can also use basil parsley whatever fresh herbs you want next up we're making a delicious pumpkin cheese ball so for this you're gonna add half a cup of soaked macadamia nuts half a cup of soaked cashews two heaping tablespoons of pumpkin one teaspoon of miso paste and half a teaspoon of tomato paste one and a half tablespoons of garlic powder two tablespoons of nutritional yeast some fresh sage and rosemary about a tablespoon each three tablespoons of fresh lemon juice lots Lots of freshly cracked pepper, two generous pinches of salt. You're gonna add all of that to a food processor and blend it until smooth. Well, it won't be like silky, silky smooth, like if you were to put it into a Vitamix, but it will be smooth-ish, and that's fine. This cheese actually works really well when it's not completely smooth. And you will have to scrape down the sides a couple times, two or three times, to get everything really well incorporated. And once it is nice and mixed together, and it looks like this, you can roll it in some crushed up pistachios. That is the coating for our cheese ball. You're gonna start your charcuterie board by laying down the cheeses first. This just helps set a nice framework for the rest of the board. And you're going to cut in the soft cheeses, so like the pumpkin cheese ball I have here and the tofu ricotta. This just makes it look more inviting and pleasant to look at, in my opinion. I think it's just more aesthetically pleasing. And I also have some Miyoko's cheddar cheese that I just tore apart with my hands. Then you can also set any small dishes that you're going to use on your board. So anything for jam or honey. I'm using hot honey here. You can also use agave or something like that if you don't wanna use honey. And then for the big slices of 
of meat, you're going to fold it in quarters like this, like a little fan, and then you can place it on your board in a straight line, and you can kind of get creative with this and do whatever you want. That's the beauty of charcuterie boards is that they're really great for you to just creatively express yourself and have fun with it. So I like using the meats as just like lines. I usually put them in lines after the cheese and it frames the board really nicely. So for the smaller slices of meat, I'm using my tofu pepperoni here and I simply just folded it in half and I'm just going, going to line the back of the board with it. But like I said, you can do kind of whatever you want here. You can do half a line here and do the other half on another part of the board. You can do it diagonally. You kind of have free reign to do whatever you think looks the best. So after the meats and cheese are on the board, you can add in your fruits. And I like using fruits that are in season in. So I have apples and pears here and I also add another line of tofurkey here as well. And I also like to use things in this board specifically, things like grapes and figs that are not technically in season, but I just think they look really good on a charcuterie board. So that's why I use them. But pomegranate makes a really great addition to any charcuterie board because it's just so beautiful and has a nice deep red color. And then you can also add any dry fruits you want here too. So dried figs make a great addition to a charcuterie board. I'm using some dried um, dehydrated orange slices at, with sugar on top. And then after the fruit, you can add your nuts and you're just going to fill all the negative space that's left on the board. So I get my nuts from Trader Joe's. I like to get a mixture of like a sweet one and a savory one. So I like usually getting pecans, sweet candied pecans and like rosemary almonds. And then after the nuts, you can add on your pickled things. So I have my cornerstones here and I just fill in the gaps for whatever is left on the board, any other negative space that needs to be filled. So once everything is on the board, you can add your finishing touches. So I like adding on some fresh rosemary, fresh thyme. You could use some edible flowers if you want. The sky is really the limit here. And then I put other finishing touches on the board, like I sprinkle on some extra pistachios on the pumpkin cheese ball. Um, I add on some dried breadsticks. I also add my serving utensils as well. And then last but not least, you have to have some crackers. So I like getting two or three different kinds of crackers, usually like a gluten-free one and a regular one to add variety. And then of course, along with the crackers, it doesn't hurt to have a nice French baguette as well. Bread is always a welcomed addition to a charcuterie board. So that is how you assemble a Insta-worthy charcuterie board. At the end of the day, you just wanna make sure there's no negative space and the whole board is filled in really nicely. Thank you guys so much for tuning in this week. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you smash that thumbs up button and subscribe down below if you haven't already. And I know that the holidays look so different this year than past years and it's not gonna be the same, but I hope no matter how many people you're seeing this year for the holidays, that you're able to make this charcuterie board, that it brings you joy, and you can just put delicious food on it. I just, basically what I'm trying to say is, I hope we all are eating delicious food this year because my God, has it been a year. Anyways, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Don't forget to take care of yourself this week, eat good food, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Diet Coke ain't good for the soul. Give me that, give me that orange soda. Give me a grape like you see in the movies. Bubble to the top like a smoothie, you'll see. I'll do you like a nine to five.